Hi, welcome to Quarter of the Day. Today, just like yesterday, we're going to continue looking at four note voicings uh, using quarter harmony or stacking fourths. So basically, we're going to do this on the A, D, G and E strings today. And we're going to begin in the open position. So our first chord is going to be an open A, an open D, an open G. And our index finger is going to fret down on the first fret of the B string. Oop, might help if I had a little volume. So what we have here is we have uh, our A, followed by our fourth, which is a D, followed by our minor seven, which is a G, and our minor third on top. So the next chord is the same shape. We're borrowing across the second fret uh, on the A, D, G uh, strings, and our middle finger or ring finger or little finger, whichever finger you want to use there, uh, I tend to use my ring finger, is on the third fret of the B string. And that gives us a, a B minor 7 uh, add 4 chord. But, you know, it sounds a bit ambiguous, but if you're using it in the C scale, it, it's implying a B minor 7 flat 5. Uh, next chord is a C chord. That's going to look like this. Next chord is a C chord. So here I'm borrowing across the third fret uh, uh, on the A and D strings. My ring finger is playing the fourth fret of the G string, and my little finger the fifth fret of the B string. So that's a C major at 11 or at 4. strings and fretting down on the 6th fret with our ring finger here. If we move that shape up 2 frets, we have our E minor chord and then we get to uh, the 8th fret for our F major chord and this one is a slightly different shape. We have uh, our index finger on the 8th fret of the A string our middle finger um, on the ninth fret of the D string. Now you can choose to use your middle finger to, to bar across the ninth fret of the G string and the D string together and then add your ring finger or your little finger on the tenth fret of the B string or you can play it like so uh, one finger per, per string To our G chord, we have this shape. So, uh, sorry, I hit the low E string there. Um, I'm borrowing across the 10th fret of the A, D, and G strings, and then my little finger is playing the 12th fret of the B string. And then we're back to our original shape. Right then, I will see you tomorrow for some more Kuruhamni. Bye now!